So today we celebrate the nativity of John the Baptist, uh, John the Baptist's birth. Uh, and it's a solemnity, so a great celebration, a high celebration. Our church brings us great joy. Our Gospels tell us that the angel Gabriel announced to Zechariah that his elderly, sterile wife was going to have a son that would bring him great joy. And, uh, of course, that was John the Baptist. And this is how God prepared the precursor to Jesus, and that, that the uh, one who would herald Jesus' name, the one that would prepare the way for Jesus' coming. And they didn't name him Zachariah Jr. They named him John. And the John means God makes grace. Okay? So it's a beautiful name John God makes grace and grace is the very stuff of the Trinity it's what the Trinity is made of and God shares that grace um, with us and so um, John just as a, uh, a farmer prepares the soil to receive seed so uh, they can have a crop for the coming year John's job was to prepare the hearts of the Israelites to receive the gift of God, to receive Jesus, to receive the great gift there of grace that was coming to them. And John was the last of the Old Testament prophets. And unlike the other prophets who prophesied that Jesus would come or were types of Christ because of the suffering they endured, John actually pointed out Christ. Yeah, he was with his disciples, and he said, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Words we hear at every Mass, as John pointed out who Jesus was, which was part of his job. And sometimes when John preached, he used harsh words, especially to the scribes and the Pharisees. He said, You brood of vipers! calling them snakes. Who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance. And John wasn't being mean. John was trying to prepare people for the coming of Christ, even the Pharisees and the scribes. And he required them to, his followers, his disciples, to sacrifice, you know, and repent, repent of their sins, so they could prepare their hearts for the coming of Jesus, so that they could have the joy of Jesus in their hearts uh, when he came. Now for us, we too are always preparing for Christ coming to us. So let's imagine that you have a, a friend, a relative, somebody that you just love dearly that's coming to your house. You're going to go to a lot of trouble to clean your house up, prepare food, have things on hand so that it'll be a great visit. And you do all those things not out of drudgery, but out of joy because you're excited about this friend uh, coming. And so we, all the sacrifices that we have in our lives, we should offer those up to God as preparation for him, Jesus, coming into our hearts. And so as we celebrate um, this feast of uh, the nativity of John the Baptist, we should open up our hearts uh, to receive Jesus and the joy that he brings all of us. Amen.